Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa extends his condolences to the President of UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan at the Presidential Hall in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty the King also extended his condolences to their Highnesses, the brothers and sons of the deceased, to the family of Al Nahyan and the Emirati people, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty healed the deeds and virtues of the deceased, his rule and his efforts in the modern development of the UAE in all fields, serving its people, the Arab and Islamic nations and all humanity, and his contributions with their Majesties and Highnesses to supporting the Gulf Cooperation Council and consolidating the pillars of his march. The work and achievements of the deceased will be remembered and he'll remain a role model in leadership and giving. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain, which is saddened by the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, will recall with his pride his honourable stances towards it. His Majesty stated that following the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, the Federal Supreme Council elected His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan as President of the country, congratulating him on the election to continue the march of the leader and founder of the UAE, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, wishing him success. His Majesty also expressed pride in the deep-rooted brotherly and historic relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which embody the fraternal bilateral ties. He affirmed his confidence that the fraternal relations and cooperation, which developed over many years, will remain solid and deep-rooted to serve the interests of the two countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa had arrived in the UAE today to extend its condolences on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 18 of 2022 on amending Article 231 of the Penal Code, promulgated by Decree Law 15 of 1976, following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. According to the law, Article 231 of Law 15 of 1976 shall be amended as follows. A punishment of a jail term and or a fine shall be inflicted upon any person who in the course of a medical or health practice examines a dead person or provides first aid to a seriously injured person with signs showing that their death or injury have resulted from a felony or a misdemeanour or in the case of other circumstances that make its cause suspicious and does not inform the public authority of that. His Majesty also ratified and promulgated Law 19 of 2022 on the implementation of the provisions of the agreement between the Government of the State of Bahrain and the UN Development Programme endorsed as per Decree Law 7 of 1979 on the relationship between Bahrain and the UN Resident Coordinator following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Council. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended his condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Zayan, 
following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. His Royal Highness also extended his condolences to senior members of the Al Nayan royal family, noting that his thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad also wished the UAE continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of its President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. His Royal Highness recalled the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan in bolstering Arab and Islamic cooperation and his active role as a statesman in furthering the UAE's comprehensive development. His Royal Highness the Deputy King also noted His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's commitment to further advancing the Bahrain-UAE partnership. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan expressed sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy King and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences and sympathy. His Royal Highness the Deputy King was accompanied by a number of senior officials. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Commander of the US Central Command, General Michael Eric Karila, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of relations between Bahrain and the US and the importance of advancing cooperation and joint coordination across all levels. He noted the importance of further developing Bahrain US military and defence ties to benefit regional security, stability, and peace. His Royal Highness congratulated the General on his appointment and wished him success in carrying out his duties. Latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thiet bin Saga Al Nawemi, also attended the meeting. A delegation of members from the Royal Family, headed by the Chairman of the Royal Family Council, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, visited the UAE to offer their condolences to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. The delegation also offered the condolences to the brothers and sons of the late, and prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace, and to grant his family solace and fortitude. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, his brothers and sons, expressed thanks and appreciation to the delegation for the sincere sentiments that reflect the historical brotherly relations between the two countries. The BDF Commander-in-Chief at Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa paid a visit to the UAE to offer condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. The BDF Commander-in-Chief also offered his condolences to the brothers and sons of the late, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and to grant his family solace and fortitude. He affirmed that the Arab and Islamic nations lost a great leader. He dedicated his life to serving his people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. He praised the achievements of the late and every accomplishment made for the UAE. The BDF Commander-in-Chief was accompanied by a number of senior BDF officers. The Information Minister, Ali Rumehi, extended heartfelt congratulations to the brotherly UAE people in a statement by the UAE Al Bayan newspaper on the occasion that signals the beginning of an important phase in UAE history, builds on the achievements of the late founder, President, His Highness Sheikh Zayed, and continues the pioneering role played by the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. He asserted that the UAE enjoys security and stability, which makes it an oasis of peace noting that the election of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan as President is an important aspect that proves real stability as reflected in the smooth transition of power. Aramehi indicated that the brotherly Bahraini-UAE relations are a model to be emulated as reflected in the similar policies and visions. He affirmed that the UAE adopts a firm approach based on the belief in the values of goodness, peace and tolerance, which entitled it to enjoy a distinguished position at all levels adding that those fundamental values form stances, policies and diplomacy of Bahrain and the UAE. 
The Minister wished the President every success in bringing about more progress and prosperity to the UAE and its people. The President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, received the condolences and sympathy of Their Majesties, Excellencies, Highnesses and leaders of brotherly and friendly countries and heads of delegations on the demise of Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. The leaders and heads of delegations expressed the sincere condolences to the family of Al Nayan and to the people of the UAE, congratulating His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed on his election as President of the UAE. For his part, the President of the UAE expressed thanks and appreciation to their Majesties, Excellencies and Highnesses for their sincere feelings towards the UAE and its people. He also thanked them for congratulating him on his election as President of the UAE. The historical march of the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, enjoyed continuous prosperity under the rule of his older brother, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed. May his soul rest in peace and made the Emirates an oasis of security, safety and stability, and a beacon of tolerance. More in this report. The inspiring historical march of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, witnessed exceptional achievements on the local and international levels, and he was able to raise the status of the UAE in all Arab and international forums. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed was born in March 1961, and graduated from the school of his father, the late founder Sheikh Zayed, where he was trained from a young age on governance and leadership affairs, and played an active role in participating in the development of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi for more than three decades. Since his appointment as Crown Prince, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has contributed to strengthening and enhancing the security of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, stimulating the growth and diversification of the economy, and establishing its educational, cultural and tourism renaissance. His vision and wise leadership has contributed to the renaissance of the modern UAE and has consolidated its position as an ideal global destination in various fields. The march of Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed is marked by his firm stances in building bridges of communication and peace with all the leaders and peoples of the world, and he spared no effort to spread the values of tolerance and provide a helping hand to peoples in various circumstances. The role of the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, at the regional and international levels in maintaining international security and stability has emerged through his important initiatives and effective participations in various forums and for various causes in the region and the world. More in this report. The UAE has played an important and strategic role in defending its interests and those of the regional countries in light of the security and international challenges that the countries of the world are experiencing, during which the role of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan emerged as an Arab leader who assumed many military and security tasks and positions during the past decades, which enabled him through his wisdom experience and firm principles to achieve an important status for the UAE in defending the region's causes and maintaining its security, stability, and safety. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has worked to develop and strengthen the capabilities of the UAE Armed Forces to be an effective force protecting the interests of its country and its Arab and Islamic neighbors with very high efficiency and capabilities with the support and guidance of the late President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, through qualitative armament, advanced and intensive military training, in addition to participating in joint exercises and important military alliances. On the international level, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, under the leadership of the late brother, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, played a vital role in maintaining international peace and security. The UAE, with his support, assumed the presidency of the UN Security Council at the beginning of this year. This is a testament to the UAE's security and military status, not only in its Arab and regional surroundings, but also at the international level, to have a pivotal role in resolving security and military issues at the world level, which has made the UAE the object of international respect in light of its unremitting efforts at various levels. During the era of the late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, the United Arab Emirates strengthened its position and active role on the regional and international arenas and succeeded in weaving strong relations with the countries of the world on the basis of mutual respect and became a central starting point for various efforts and initiatives that contribute to achieving security and stability in the world.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan received cables of congratulations on the occasion of his election as President of the United Arab Emirates by the Federal Supreme Council. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed received a congratulatory cable from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which he expressed his aspiration to continue working to strengthen the bonds of brotherhood and friendship between both countries and their people and to work together to strengthen relations between the GCC countries and the Arab and Islamic nations. The Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, expressing his wishes to the UAE for more security, prosperity, stability and prosperity. Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Sabah, sent a cable to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed on the occasion of his election as UAE President, asking God Almighty to help lead and complete the march of development witnessed by the UAE. The Moroccan monarch, His Majesty King Mohammed VI, also sent a similar cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed on the occasion of his election as President of the United Arab Emirates. And the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nayyan on being elected as President of the United Arab Emirates wishing his highness success in continuing the march of development and prosperity for the UAE. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Embassy of the UAE in Bahrain to offer his condolences to the UAE leadership, government and people following the demise of his highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan. He recalled with appreciation the support of the late Sheikh Khalifa to the distinguished strategic and brotherly partnership between Bahrain and the UAE, in addition to his stances in defending Arab causes. Messages of condolences have poured in from around the Middle East following news of the demise of the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan. Gulf leaders offers messages of condolences to the Al Nayyan family and the Emirati people. Declaring three days of national mourning, Oman's Sultan Haytham bin Tariq said, the Sultanate shares the grief of the leadership, government and people of the UAE in their great affliction. The Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abelgate, issued a statement of condolences addressed to the UAE leadership, government and people, adding that the Arab League will observe three days of mourning with flags to be flown at half-mast. Leaders across the wider Middle East and North Africa also paid their respects. The Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Ibn Al Hussein II, said that an outstanding leader was lost who inherited wisdom from his late father, Sheikh Zayed, and dedicated his life to serving his country and the Arab and Islamic nations. Iraq's President Baham Saleh said, Sheikh Khalifa was a man known for his wisdom and generosity for the sake of his homeland and the Arab and Islamic nation.